Checking out Instinct there, getting the calls. That is their coach, Puss, in the background. He is their new coach for this event, and I was talking to Roy, and Roy says he is by far easily the best coach on the circuit because he actually still plays the game. He knows what he's talking about, and the players will actually listen to him. Interesting, and of course, the coach for straight ripping is Triple X, former coach for Team Carbon. A little bit of bad blood there, perhaps, but he's happy to be taking control for straight ripping here. He's calling out times, trying to keep his team focused. These teams really focused. Look at Macchio. This is a guy I love to watch. Oh, he gets into the game. He's calling out. He's a linebacker there, calling out orders, saying, cover, cover, cover. Fantastic job by Macchio, the young captain of Team Instinct. All right, well, let's hop on board with Macchio. That captain you were speaking of, he's going up against Neighbor. Neighbor just hit him with a no-scope, forcing Macchio to draw back, and that was only after Macchio hit Neighbor with three PR shots. And now Macchio going up against Legit. And nice work there, getting a perfect four shot on Legit, smacking the dead body, trying to make a statement here. But you know what? He was doing that in his own base. He is going to have to start doing that in straight Rippin's base for that message to really mean something. He was just taking down Neighbor, and now he continues to push in, waiting for his teammates a little bit here. He finds the sniper rifle, and now let's see what he can do. And he is going to be taken down by two shots from T-squared. He squared again with a double kill right there, involved in all the key moments. Seems like every time Instinct is pushing across the map and getting some momentum, T squared is right there to put a lock on. Big Daddy P shutting it down. No breakfast for you, son. Lunchbox is taken down as well. We're gonna jump on board though with, it looks like Roy here from Instinct. He is trying to cause some ruckus top middle, taking out legit. And now looking back towards his base, Instinct seems a little bit too worried about defense. Not so aggressive as I was expecting them to play like they were in the earlier round. You know, in a match like this, sometimes a, a team with a new member or a team that's slightly less experienced worries about that first cap as it being too important. And the more time that goes off the clock, the quicker we get to sudden death. So you know what? Maybe they're focusing too much on defending that flag, as you said. Let's take a minute here to listen to some of the audio of Team Instinct and how they're communicating. Our play? Yeah. In the lobby, I'm in. I'm in. Watch me, Joe. Watch me, Joe. Watch me. I got one. I got one. I got one. Another one. Another one. Other flag. Two other flags. Two other flags. You guys, we have to kill the guy that one. You guys are flying apart. Let's go, guys. Keep up. Keep up. Let's go. Carry it. Carry it. Carry it. Everybody go. Everybody go. R3. R3. Jason, blank. Just, just, just. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. It's one shot. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. Man, cannon. Well, we got Neighbor pushing in. He's got the flag here for straight ripping. That was all four down momentarily for Instinct. And this looks like it's going to be the first cap of the game. But Neighbor is going to have to get by three aggressive Instinct players chasing after him. Macchio picking up a kill. He's only got Elmite, Warrior, and Legit as bodyguards right now. And Lunchbox is going for a counter cap. He's got the flag pushing bottom middle as well. So we have a stalemate at this point. Lunchbox got the flag through the middle. Roy, the last member alive, trying to make the return for Instinct. And there is the capture. 1-0. Straight Rippin is going to be able to take the lead. And guess who was in the middle of that one? Neighbor playing a great, a great objective player right there. Dropping the flag, putting shots on Roy. Waiting, waiting till the flag comes back, and now straight ribbon up one to nothing. You have to wonder if this is going to make Instinct push more aggressively. We're at 18 minutes, actually nice, just under 19 minutes into the game left. That means we're close to sudden death. So now Instinct has a little bit of a, a, a disadvantage in terms of time. They've got to put a run together. Well, son, is I really want to hear what is going on on the straight ripping side of this stage. So let's listen in with a few members of straight ribbon. Five more. Two guys sniping behind Mark. Two guys behind Mark. One dead, one dead right now. Two guys One guy spawning, two guys, three guys more. Two guys sniping. Two guys sniping. I'm gonna man cannon, I'm gonna man cannon. I want one shot. 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 One shot, 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 one shot,
You guys, one shot that throw. Snipe, one shot, one shot, R2, Macchio, nice. Three dead, Roy, where is he? He's one. Two snipers in the hands of Straight Rippin. T Squared's got one. You're watching legit trying to use his scope. And there he puts a oh. shot on Roy. That was the last shot I believe he had in that sniper. And there he cleaning up his own kill. Oh, he's got one left going to town. And there's the oh. headshot on oh. Lunchbox. Oh, nasty. The magic bullet left in the clip. Legit clears the way with that double kill. And now Straight Rippin is going to run their second flag. Elmite's going to carry that flag. No, he passed it off to Legit because Elmite had the rockets. I love the teamwork there. But Elmite was actually taken down. We're watching as Legit trying to get away with this flag. He's going to wait for his shields to return. And check out this move. He played very sneaky here, hiding with the flag because he knew all of Instinct was charging that right side of the map. You see Elmite trying to push out and clean up. And now Legit is going to try and do it all on his own. Grabbing that flag so it couldn't be returned. But I believe that is going to be it. The flag is returning. And now Instinct is on the counter cap. We're watching as Snipe Down is juggling the flag with the sniper rifle as his primary weapon. This kid has been on fire all game long. And he is now stepping up for Instinct as an objective player. Wow, the new addition tying it up right there with just a minute left before sudden death. Slank down proving that he was worth the addition, worth the effort right there. Terrific job. Oh, that was a great play by Instinct and Snipe Down. They kept their cool. I thought Legit was making a very smart play, playing very patiently there, waiting for his team. But you know what? The rest of his teammates were not able to fend off that Instinct rush, and it was just the teamwork from Lunchbox Roy and, and Snipe Down to get into the straight rip and base, grab a counter cap, and tie this game up. It's all now tied up one to one. We're 30 seconds left in regulation time. After that, we will go in to sudden death overtime after that 15 minute point. Three down there for Instinct for a second. Now straight ripping, obviously looking to end this right now. They've got the flag out. Oh, neighbor taken down. You know what? Here's where it really comes out. Here's where you separate the men from the boys. Sudden death. Every move, every shot, everything you do. Win or lose you the game. It's all about confidence and trust in your teammates. Let's see who can pull this one out. And Straight Rippin has gone to win every single match that they've started off after taking that game one. So if they do that here, Instinct's got to be a little bit nervous. Well, you know what? The way Instinct's playing, even if they were to drop this game, Snipe Down especially looking real comfortable on that main stage. I don't know if they would be nervous. Maybe that would be just a little bit of a pick in the Check ass. Check out T Squared's VR cleaning up Lunchbox there. We're going to jump back on board with the player who is making things happen for Instinct. You know, I kind of doubted him coming into this event only because I've never seen him play. He was on ambush at the last event. They finished in seventh or eighth place, seventh actually, and now he was able to get a position on this third seated instinct squad. You so know, the, the amazing thing about Snipe Down is he's a younger player, but you know what? He's got incredible communication skills, great individual skills. A lot of people say he's similar to a young strong side, and that instinct saw that Macchio and crew decided, you know what, we'll take the skill and ability and we'll turn him into the player we need him to be. What I love about Snipe Down is, like you said, he is very much just like Strong Side in the ways that he is so willing to learn and take any criticism or, I guess, any hints that he could get from the veteran players. And he is trying to just become the very best player he possibly can. And he is showing off his talents here in the winner's bracket finals in only his second tournament ever at Major League Gaming. It's phenomenal. We've never seen anything like that. You know what? The fact is, he just wants to win. He wants to be the best that he can be. So he understands the way you do that. Oh, right there, taking out. It's a listen to what the pros have to say because they've been through it before. Well, we got the flag out in the hands of Neighbor. Three down for Instinct. Neighbor actually hit by a grenade. So Roy clutching it there to take down Neighbor. But the flag is in the hands of T squared. So after the after the two kills there by T-squared. He ran the flag in, and this is going to be game over. Straight Rippin is what going to take it. And look at who's in the middle of it. Big Daddy, T 